Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a wonderful loop scarf. Today's project is also going to be really, really quick. So you can see the texture on here and the colors that I'm going to be doing. So I also have my crocheting hook. It's a 9mm one and that's all that we're going to need. I'm going to show you what yarn I used and then we're going to get started right away. So if you want to see, stay tuned. So you guys, here I have again Lion Brand Yarns landscapes, but different colors this time. So they are pretty neon, pretty bright. So we have 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 147 yards, 134 meters. The color is 201 or broad block. So here we have 6 to 6.5 recommended and I'm using a little bit larger hook this time because I want it a little bit bigger. So here is the beginning from the middle and what I want to do this time is measure the length of my chains. So we need about 50, 60, or actually a bit bigger, so 65 to 70 centimeters in length. Okay, so now let's measure and see what our length is. So we have really 70 centimeters, pretty cool. Okay, so this is the length that we want. And now we're gonna check if we have any twists or knots or anything weird going on. So we just wanna make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. And then we're gonna connect it into a loop shape. Okay, everything looks good. Here is the first stitch that I did, the first chain, and here is my hook. So now I'm going to go into the first one and connect it with a slip stitch. So again, I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to pull the thread as I go, and that's going to be a slip stitch. And that way we get a really nice single loop scarf, or at least the base of it. So let's get to the rest of it. So now I'm going to start with the actual stitches. So I'm going to do half treble crochets, which means I'm doing a yarn over and going through all three loops on my hook at once. And for each stitch that I see for each chain on the base, I'm going to do one half treble crochet on top. And this is the entire first round that we're doing. So I'm going to keep doing this exact same thing, exact same stitch until I get to the beginning right here. There we go. So I'm almost done now. And now I'm just going to go around these chains that I started with and I'm going to do a slip stitch again. And now we have our first round done. So this time we're doing deeper stitches. That just basically means that we're going a little bit lower than what we usually do. So I'm going to do two chains for the height and then I'm going to do half treble crochets again. So I'm not going to go right here where I started the round, but instead I'm going to go into the next two stitches on the bottom. And I'm again going to do a half treble crochet there. So it's really cool because you don't have to look for your spots very long. They are very, very obvious. So this would have been through the stitch itself. Instead, we're going really underneath the whole stitch. And in my opinion, it actually makes it a lot easier to work with this way. 
So you can definitely see here that we have a little bit um, deeper stitches and a little bit of a different visual effect than if we just went through the stitches, um, through the top sections of the stitches. Awesome color change. I'll be back soon. So I'm here after this entire round and I have a little bit of a color change again. I have some yellow incoming and yeah, now we're going to keep doing the single or the half treble crochets, not single crochets. And we're just going to keep going like this. I have to end this with a slip stitch. Again, two chains for the height and we're starting the next round again. And you already know what to do, so you already see the style and we're just going to keep going. And I'm going to keep going like this until I do my entire ball of yarn and then I'll show you what I have left or what it looks like at that point. everyone this is what we have you see some really surprising colors in here so we have some green um, some neon green and then some lighter shade of green and again a lot of purple a lot of pink throughout the entire scarf so yeah I hope you guys like the texture as well and I'm gonna show you where I'm at so this is where I am and I'm going to shorten the thread. I don't need it anymore. I don't have enough for a full another round. So I'm just going to pull this really um, tight so that everything stays in place. And then I'm going to show you how you can hide where it stopped. So here through and then take your thread with you. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. There we go, pull just a little bit and then we have hidden where the round or um, spiral stops and begins. So now all that we have to do is weave this in and apart from that we're pretty much done. So I hope you guys like the way this looks. Let me know what you think of the colors. This is going to be really warm for the winter, so perfect. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to shoot a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you want to click on the notification bell, you'll get notified every time I post something new. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye!